Hey, what to do, everyday people, man? It's your boy PJ, and today we back with another little video, man. As you can see, man, we in the confessional here at Steady Eddie, man. Steady Eddie out here in Norman, Oklahoma, man. So if you in the college town, you are just leaving the game, and you need to stop by and get your medicinal man, just pull up. Where are we at? 136 Howard Monroe Boulevard, right off of Main Street. Right off of Main Street, you hear me? All right, so man, yeah, got the shirts, man. I want to have to look for one. <laughs> hey, check me out, though. I'm going to holler at y'all in a minute. Come on, check out this video. It's an everyday thing. It's an everyday thing. It's an everyday thing when you let your nuts hang. What it do, everyday people, man? It's your boy, PJ. Today, we back in the confessional, man. Yes, we are not in front of the 96 Camaro because, man, it's still a little cold outside, but we on the grind every day, all day. Make sure if you here by now, go ahead and subscribe. Check out more of my content. I got good business videos and I got foolery, and we about to get to the foolery, man, because if you haven't known by now, the killers of FBG Duck, man, I don't know what took them so long to release all this information, but if you can go to DJ Academics video, he explains it all and it sounds kind of idiotic. Just like the idiots straight dropping in Cornelius Smith, them dudes is the dumbest fools ever. At least we thought. Because FBG Duck, these the people who kill FBG Duck, man, like I said, if you anywhere in a big city, I'm in Oklahoma City. We have cameras all around the South Side, dog. All around. You go look at every uh, corner corner light, there's cameras. Every store, there's cameras. Everybody's houses have cameras now. So, and when I told you, you could drive through my neighborhood and the, we could tell you every house you pass, what time, all the way till you left the neighborhood. That's how many cameras is around my neighborhood, right? And I'm, so, I mean, I'm, I stay in the very diverse neighborhood neighborhood so even in the ghetto my my old home that's in the hood like in the real hood hood everybody had cameras i mean it's inevitable nowadays so when you go and break into houses and you or you go to different apartment complexes these places have cameras so in chicago um the people who got the video evidence the fbi had been collecting data for so long, like that's how many people had to get involved because there's so many cameras that there had to be some type of warrants issue to get this much camera footage, right? So they got camera footage all the way from O Block or whatever block they from. They got camera footage from the guys running from their apartments down the stairs and into the vehicles driving the vehicles across town to where FBG Duck was, committing the crime, then they have on every camera, every time you run a red light, like if you run this red light by my house, you run a red light by the, uh, by the next main street, there's cameras up there. Even if you get off to any, any intersection on the highway, in uh on i-35 any intersection if you get off on any one of them it doesn't matter which one you get off on there's cameras on the lights right on every one of them so if you run that light it snaps a picture of you right and then there's a camera right in front of you that snaps a picture of you there's a camera that come that's on the other side that's pointed the other way when you pass through it snaps a picture of your license plate right so the killers of FBG Duck is supposedly one of uh, another rapper, but I'm going to get to him and his dumb ass in a second. Um, but the cameras picked up all of that. The cameras picked up every single time they ran a stoplight because they didn't stop. Now, had they stopped, the camera wouldn't have snapped their photo and the camera, it would have just went on as a normal day because the cameras, they run 24-7, but if there's not a crime, it doesn't snap a photo. So as soon as you run that red light, it snaps a photo of you, right? And then it snaps a photo of your tag, and it might send you a ticket. Or it might not send you a ticket, depending on, you know, whatever the case may be. But in this case, they got a snapshot <laughs> of every 
red light and supposedly they ran eight stoplights. So these guys was on the run run and they had already committed the crime and then it gets even stupider. So we thought straight drop and just straight drop Justin Johnson was dumb for uh, stealing a vehicle and then dropping the vehicle at the same place where he recorded a music video, right? We thought he was dumb as hell for doing that and then leaving the vehicle back there at that spot. Well, he ain't the only dumb one because as soon as FBG ducks killers, let me go to, I got to go to academics pages. DJ academics. So the killers, they drove the car right back to O Block. You stupid motherfuckers. They took the same path. They, they When they left, they all ran in the car. Two cars, two cars deep. And the police has all this information. So we not this is not alleged, but all the people are still innocent until proven guilty because Muwap, that's his name, Muwap. You know, I don't know where he got that name from, but I'm sure he got it from Guwap. You know what I'm saying? So he kind of bit that style. And as you could tell, he wanted some type of popularity. And, uh, you know, he's just another rat sucking hater of the game. That, you know, they see another person that's doing better than them or doing something that they ain't doing and they want to they wanna take them out so somebody else can replace them, like maybe themselves or they want to get clout. But obviously, you live in Chicago where this city is so rampant with gangs and gang activity and shootings and uh, we don't even have to get on the guns and all the crime and drugs and we don't have to get on all that because it's just so much of it. it. We don't have to prove points to show what the fuck Chicago is doing. We, there's no point to prove, you know? And at this point, everybody is trying to, every one of those hoods is trying to prove to the next hood that they are the toughest hood and they want to have the rappers come out and represent them and talk shit for their gang. And while there's really people in the streets dying over beef that's really made up like all this beef is really made up like only thing they could tell you is i want to kill you because you killed my friend but then once i kill you then you got the next person wanting to kill me because i killed you and then if you kill me or if i kill you too i mean it just doesn't stop but no one can tell you well um damn what was a fight over i bet you like it'd be like man one person slept with another person's baby mama, then they shot each other, right? And then that's when the other person didn't like the other person and they shot each other. But then that's when that person did like, and then they don't even realize it's all over a bitch that don't like neither one of these motherfuckers at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? And that's all I be saying. Like all this crime and shit be dumb as hell, but people, people do it and they, they do crimes. I'm gonna just tell y'all, if I was to do a crime, uh, this is just all alleged. If I was to do a crime in 2022, okay, there are certain things that you do not need uh, to have with you when you commit a crime. You do not need to have your own personal cell phone. Anything that ties you to a uh, this crime uh, and your personal life, you don't do not need it. You need to um, you need to have all new clothes, okay. You need to have all new clothes. You don't need to wear anything that anyone has seen you in. Um, and when you buy those clothes, you need to buy those clothes in cash from a store somewhere on the other side, opposite side of town that can't be traced back to you or the store. OK. And don't buy them like right when you commit the crime, buy them like a month ago, put them in a bag, wrap them up and hide them. OK. Uh, then after that, don't still don't use your own vehicle. If rather if you can't commit a crime. With, with somebody else's car or somebody you don't know, somebody not tied to you, you can't go steal a car, don't commit that crime. Don't commit that crime. Don't do it. Because everybody does stuff at the spur of the moment and they just, these are basic things that get people caught up. Their clothes. Just like straight drop. He had the hat. Everybody got the hat, but then it was the bins. He had already been taking videos in the bins. Then it was the house. 
He had already been taking videos of the house. Same thing with FBG Ducks Killers. These guys had been taking pictures with the cars that they went to go commit the crimes in. Like, they, they put them all on the internet, so they left a paper trail months ago. Like, months prior to the shooting, they were taking pictures in these cars. You know, it's on their Instagrams. They, you know, just in random videos with other people. It's all online. This is all, like, all this shit just been released. So, it's not surprising that these fools is getting caught up like that and getting caught up. But the FBI had to come in because it was, you know, there was cameras from banks and all this type of shit that, you know, everybody, a local police couldn't just get because this was done, like, in a real nice place in Chicago, like, in a real nice area. So, man, like I said, man, thank, it's good that they found the, uh, you know, they already found them, but it's good they put the evidence out there to show how stupid these fools was. Man, crime don't pay. Crime ain't gonna pay. And uh, it never paid. When I was doing it, it never paid. My friend my friend today, um, we 37, we've been friends for over two, almost tw but 20 years we've been friends. And from the time we started, we had already always been doing crime and dealing drugs and stuff. And now he's starting to feel the effects of all his, all the times he didn't change his mindset of doing crime. He just kept doing it and doing it. And now he's in a position where he has to make a change, not to be a better person, but so he don't die. So he don't end up in prison for the rest of his life because of the decisions that he continued to make by committing crimes because of that fast money. The way the money make you feel and the way crime makes you feel is only good for the moment if you get away with it. But once you get caught, all of that shit could come crashing down and you could throw away your life. And then you wake up 20 years later and you realize you don't have no kids. You don't have no family. You don't have no real friends. You don't have, you don't, I mean, just, it's just a bunch of shit you don't have. You don't have no education. You don't have no skills, but selling drugs. And then you have the skills of the street, but then you gotta, you gotta acquire some knowledge. You gotta use your life experience to now project that you have a skill to move forward and that's something that you can help somebody and somebody would like to benefit from the skills that you've learned from your fuck ups. You know what I'm saying? But then, I mean, that lifestyle is not as lucrative as, you know, getting a trade and uh, starting a, a plumbing business as when you're 20 and then when you're 37 like I am, you didn't have a career for the last 17 years. You know what I'm saying? So, the life of crime or a life of working hard. It's, it's whatever you want to put on it. And then, like, the way YouTube is, you know, just because you, now that you out uh, plumbing, now you can record your plumbing on YouTube, put it out there, and make money on the back end for you, the jobs that you're already doing. So, like, today, crime don't pay, but you, as long as you're recording a crime, you're going to do the time. But if you're doing stuff like I'm doing, if you're recording all the right stuff you're doing in your life, recording, putting, uh, putting good energy out there, you know what I'm saying? You're going to get all that shit back. So remember, don't be like these dummies and go and doing dumb crimes in your car. Don't, man, go talk to somebody. Go get a job. Go find a pastor and talk to them. Go find a community leader. Go find an uncle that's doing good. Everybody got a rich uncle. He might not be rich, but that nigga so dope forever, and he got a little money, and he could tell you where to invest your money because he stopped selling drugs and opened up a parking garage or some shit. You know what I'm saying? You got to talk to those people. How to, You got to talk to the people who do basic shit to uh, better themselves. You got to talk to them because it's not the, you know, we're not talking to the rich person who's, online showing you how fabulous their life is because they didn't already made it, but then they're trying to look out for them their people too you got to find somebody near you that you can relate to that can get you out of the situation so you're not out here shooting niggas trying to get to their level you know doing committing stupid crimes to get to somebody else's level you can't get to their level man ain't no way ain't no way because it Either way, like I said, in the Mr. Fab situation, sometimes you got to know your know your role and you can still sit courtside. You know what I'm saying? I know my role. I play my role. And I still sit courtside, baby. I'm, I promise you, I do not need I do not need to commit a crime or stop somebody else's shine. Matter of fact, 
I don't even want to shout nobody else, stop nobody else shine. I want to give a shout out to a few of the people that in Oklahoma City that I, I really fuck with and I rock with. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Lucky Wheels and Dish, uh, Macadoc TV, State of Steezo, uh, Bezo with Wheels, uh, Life in OKC, and just all the people who really just keep it hood and street in the city that like uh, know their role. Like my partner Ace, my partner Ace, man, he got smoking aces. The uh, the hookah lounge in Oklahoma City. Y'all check that out. It's on the south side. Um, check, man. He always got something popping up there. Man, I mean, it's just stuff that you could do in Oklahoma City and that you just, you ain't got to commit a crime. You ain't got to be a hard head. You can actually win and live and everybody can love and support you without having to shoot somebody down because they from a different, different neighborhood or because, uh, like, I don't understand how eight niggas run into a car to, Gun down one dude. I don't understand that. It, it, it's not that much energy and hate in the world for me to go with two of my friends to go shoot one person. In fact, I'm a, if my friend was like, hey, we gotta go kill this dude, I'm like, listen, brother, um, you gonna have to go on your own. As a matter of fact, I don't even know what the fuck you're gonna do. I'm out of it. I'm out of it. Nigga, why would you, why? Why would y'all wanna be that close. Now you got eight people to testify against. And guess what? The first one to testify is the first one getting off. Everybody else is fucking going down. So, everyday people, man, I'm telling y'all, uh, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Like this video. Give it a thumbs up because you know I'm telling the goddamn truth about these fools. Alright? Thank you guys for watching. I'll holler at you. Peace. <laughs>